ஆதரவுங்க <laughs> You can make transactions, whatever you want. So today, we have Mr. Tilak Piedigama of Nations Trust Bank. He is the Chief Operating Officer of Nations Trust Bank. Now, this bank has made significant strides in the digital banking sphere, introducing a couple of new innovative mobile apps, which we will be discussing today. And first, we would like to introduce you to this amazing, the first digital bank in Sri Lanka, as I know. That's right, yeah. and this is very aptly called freemi so we would like to know um what exactly is freemi and what does it do and how what makes it special okay uh, first of all thank you for having me here yeah. uh, i think uh, i'm very proud to say the freemi is the first digital bank in sri lanka and uh, what it means is like you can open an account a savings account without uh, visiting a branch which is a significant step forward in terms of banking in this country and it is powered by nations trust bank so you have the security of a bank behind this app and also it has load of you know cool features it it suits from millennial to any age right and uh, it can take care of your investments it can take care of your payments funds transfers and uh, i mean anything what you do with a bank right now when it comes to funds transfers and uh, again uh, uh, payments you can use qr codes which is you just touch the phone with a qr device you can use your nfc near field communication devices as well as uh, you can use your mobile number and or the usual account number as well so with this you can do any banking tra- transaction in the country whatever you are doing today right uh, so how does this fit in with the bank's digital strategy i think we our ambition and our our commitment always has been giving a better experience of customers and in doing that uh, we also have physical channels like branches as well as the digital channels so when you come to digital channels uh, digital channels i think how you give this experience is by having a, a good ui ux right i mean ui ux is some uh, the major buzzword in the world you know it gives you the user interface and experience for you to feel i mean doing something without you know spending too much of you know your brain power so we we have done ui ux with world class experts in in designing this app so that gives you that you know first opening part of you know using the app and uh, you know understanding how, how to do that so so i think uh, that's one major thing we have done and obviously as i said uh, uh, you know we created a digital bank and uh, first mobile only bank in sri lanka so um what sets free me apart from the others in the digital banking space well i think uh, a lot has been spoken about apps and digital banking and so on but uh, no one went to this extent of you know creating the true digital bank of you know opening accounts from home so i think that that is the key differentiator and plus we uh, uh, also uh, uh, loaded with lot of other features as i mentioned now if you have to do account transfer good, good old days even with in the digital era you had to use account numbers you had to use uh, bank names and so on now you don't have to do anything it's like you know your contact uh, list in your iphone or your android you just pick up those names and transfer money and or use your mobile numbers and transfer money or as uh, use a qr codes and transfer money i mean that didn't exist in this country so now we have come up with them and obviously competition will follow us So um what are the key challenges you faced during the development of this system and deployment and how did you overcome them what is the back story behind this i'm sure it's interesting uh well it was a very interesting story i think we had a, a long journey to get to where we are today uh, i think start with i think we had the legal and regulatory uh, challenges to face i mean i wouldn't call them limitation I and mean, that's what it was at that time so uh, obviously if you want to overcome you know you also have to understand in the pretty you know how how the same thing can be done in different way now for an example if you want to open an account uh, central bank uh, guidelines and uh, uh, regulations requires for us to know the customer we call it kyc know your customer so how do you do that digitally is was the real challenge so we consulted the best legal experts who had exposure to digital world as well as the 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 experts in the law so b- with their guidance and advice also we met central bank number of time to show 
to do KYC better than you know what it can be done in a branch so we overcome that uh, uh, limitations or the or the uh, the situation what we had to be encountered by just showing how it can be done differently right um, so one of the biggest issues here and what might scare customers is the issue of security um, so what steps have been taken to ensure their safety the safety of users and their information I think first anyone who is going to put money on any device will worry about it. it's my money I don't want to lose it right so it's essential that you know there is someone backing you up uh, uh, strongly so that is your nation's trust bank come into the picture right it's this app is powered by nation's trust bank and also uh, being digital being you know in, in today's era of you know hacking and all that happening almost yes. every uh, minute so we had to secure our our environment for customers to feel uh, secure about transaction and also to prevent uh, i mean us also getting into that kind of situation so uh, starting with we have uh, uh, the security of the phones which we t uh, that's the first early how to jump if you want to hack into this kind of thing and also uh, the app itself has a lot of security i mean you can use your thumb you can use your face you can use your voice or your pin to get into the application so i mean that's another layer of security we have established and also when you do transactions you also can you know limit uh, sorry set up limits based on you know how comfortable you are with money transfers say if you are comfortable with transferring 50000 rupees uh, and above you can bring another control where you know it will ask you to put your thumb again something like that so those thresholds you can you know depending on users you can change and vary so that's another another aspect we have brought in then on the infrastructure side in the in the bank data center we have firewalls we have significant number of firewalls protecting that and also we have our internal process and procedures and mind you we are a ISO 27001 uh, certified organization that's uh, that's that's one of the the best international standards you can maintain in a bank Plus, we also invite ethical hacking, like you know, we invite uh, uh, people to come and see whether they can penetrate our systems, like uh, on a regular basis. So that all we put together, you know, we give this uh, the security element uh, anyone should be worried about, and we we have got everything in place for people to you know feel uh, secure to do their transaction. So, um, going forward, do you see any challenges to free me, and how are you going to face them? How are you going to ha uh, handle them, or? Uh, and what are the opportunities that you're going to get? Well, I think, uh, in my opinion, uh, it's more than a challenge. There are a hell of a lot of opportunities. I mean, if you take the world, it's moving towards mobiles. I mean, everyone carries a mobile. It's no longer a luxury thing. So, with that infrastructure in place, so if you bring an app which can be used in a user-friendly manner, I mean, I use that as an opportunity. So, uh, at the same time, anyone who, I mean, today everyone does some kind of financial transaction, starting from doing business with the banks to buying groceries to everything. So, if everything can be done in this little device, I mean, that should take off. So, that is where you are brought into FreeMe. So, it's everyone's app. Everyone can use it, right? All what you need is a smartphone. So, I mean, I see uh, uh, more than a challenge. I see a you know, lot of opportunities. Uh, Sri Lanka has a phone density of 100 plus. So, I think it's a matter of time. Everyone is mobile for everything. So, um, could you relate some possible examples of using Freemi? Well, I think, uh, as I said, Freemi is a bank account. At the same time, you can link your own credit cards and debit cards into uh, the Freemi. So, it's like you, know, you have a digital wallet in your mobile phone. Suppose if you want to pay someone on the road, say a person who is uh, selling family, uh, could you pay with your MX uh, credit card? You couldn't earlier, but with this you could do that. So, family person does not have to be a, a, a merchant in in in, in uh, no, I mean, he has to be a merchant uh, to accept MX cards. No? But with this free me, he doesn't have to be. He can just take money from uh, either through his mobile or uh, if he does not have a free me account, so we can give him a SMS message where he can take that uh, message. There's a token. He can go. He can go to uh, one of our nation's trust ATMs and take money. So that was not possible earlier. So I think this is a major step forward in terms of doing payments seamlessly. Right. Let's now move on to a commercial break and we will be back with details of yet another very interesting mobile app from Nations Trust Bank. You are watching Other Verana 24-7. Welcome back. So we were discussing latest developments in the digital banking sphere spearheaded by Nations Trust Bank. So, they have set up yet another innovative mobile app, 
this is nations mobile banking so i would like to ask so what is nations mobile banking and how does it once again how does it complement your uh, digital banking strategy well i think uh, uh, i mean every bank has mobile apps it's not but i think uh, the difference uh, the our mobile bank offers is actually it, it's very user friendly and uh, we have uh, spent a lot of time and effort to get the user interface and user experience so when someone uses it you know they don't feel that they are doing a very complex uh, task you know it's just pressing buttons and uh, the way it is presented the the layouts and the colors and the fonts and everything gives you that you know seamless experience so i mean essentially we have created a created a uh, sort of a frictionless banking experience on the mobile app and that's that's the difference uh, ntb nations trust versus uh, other banks right um so what makes nations mobile banking different from its competitors because others are also stepping up e, yes i think most banks require you to visit a branch to sign up to mobile banking app but in our case you don't have to uh, you can use your existing credentials like your account number credit card number or your national id card number to sign up and we do it in a uh, secure manner that way someone else can't sign up for you so that's i would say a big plus point and uh, so once you sign up you know all your existing accounts are displayed for you to do any kind of transactions be it a funds transfer be it a payment be it a opening investment account so on so i mean you can do everything and uh, it's uh, done in a very user friendly manner right um so what are the key challenges you and the sector as a whole face uh, pushing forward into the future i think uh, the uh, challenge is the legal framework it needs to be enhanced i mean we we have got good enough uh, uh, legal framework and we work with uh, i mean experts uh, in in this area at the same time we work very close with our regular central bank of sri lanka and uh, so i think if we simplify our legal framework and enable electronic payments uh, uh, more than what it is with uh, new technologies uh, behind i i, I think uh, those challenges can be overcome i think it has a lot of opportunities also uh, sri lanka has a phone deficit of uh, 100 plus so everyone carries a mobile i mean it's no longer a luxury item you know it is a necessity so having apps of useful nature and user friendly uh, i mean we'll take this journey to a totally different level right so what steps uh, do you think need to be taken to meet these challenges and what are the opportunities that lie ahead for this um? uh, i think uh, uh, i i see a lot of opportunities because everyone carries a mobile and everyone is busy now and we don't have time to go and spend in branches and queues and things like that so i think if you create a seamless experience through a mobile app to do your banking transaction and that's the key to success so that is where we want to get and that is where we were marching towards right so today online security is important as we uh, talked about before so how does the nations mobile banking in its part ensure customer safety yeah uh, as you know the phone itself has some security we are using that as part of the once as the first security layer then on the app we also have biometrics right you can use your face you can use your thumb you can use your voice or you can use your pin to get through to into the app, uh, app. so i mean we we have worked with a renowned world class biometric provider uh, uh, to uh, to build, build into this app so that provides i think ample security features and on the back end we are a iso 27001 uh, certified organization in uh, our technology infrastructure so it comes with a lot of features like you know firewalls and uh, penetrating testing and so on and so forth so that gives you i think uh, uh, quite a uh, vast area of i think confidence to say that you know we are secure so the world of digital banking is an exciting a fresh new field where there's some new development taking place every single day and today we discussed two exciting mobile apps from nations trust bank and we would like to thank Chief Operating Officer of Nations Trust Bank Mr Tilak Pedigama for joining with us today so we will be back with more on this new and exciting field farewell for now you are watching other than 24/7